there, welcome to Brampton Museum. My name's Elise and I'm making this short virtual tour for you so you can see what to expect on a visit to Brampton Museum. I was talking about some of the support that we can offer for people who have disabilities or who have autism. So this is the entrance to the museum. We've got a ramp so it's fully wheelchair accessible and the door opens automatically when you arrive. We've also got a car park, free car park just outside the museum and we have some wheelchair spaces there as well. Um, we are only about a 10 or 15 minute walk from uh, Newcastle Town Centre if you are travelling to us by bus. Come on inside. When you enter the museum, you arrive at our reception. You've got helpful members of staff here. You'll recognise them with their badges. If you've got any questions or anything that you'd like help with. You can also borrow a uh, bag which has uh, ear defenders and fidget toys in if that's helpful for, for your family. Or you can find out about what's on at the event at, at the museum and uh, book some tickets. When you come to the door, you may also have a look at our beautiful window displays. All the art is made by local artists and is available for sale. If you enter the museum and turn right as you pass our reception, you'll arrive in our beautiful shop and cafe. There's lots of lovely things to buy, a lot of them made by local artists. You'll also find our toilets, where we've got some accessible toilets as well. When you walk through our cafe and shop, you'll find our Willow and Older rooms. This is where a lot of our events take place. So whether it's archive film shows, a local history talk or a craft class, they normally take place through here. It's also a lovely space to hire whether you're looking for a meeting or a family gathering. We do lots of lovely occasions in there and you can find out more about hiring one of our rooms on our website. All our rooms are accessible and um, with a hearing loop and PA system in and you can find more about our award winning rooms on our website. If you come back through our cafe and reception, you'll hear enter at the entrance to the museum. You'll also find our lovely display of local history books, historic maps, DVDs and locally made cards. You'll also find the stairs up to our upper floors where we have our Victorian street scene and our gallery of childhood, but there's also a lift which we'll show you later on in the tour. At this point, please don't bring any more food and drink in. Make sure you keep your tasty treats in our cafe. The first room is our Remembering Things Gallery, which has this lovely model of Newcastle and Lyme High Street in the 1950s and some things from living memory from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s that you might remember. It's a lovely place to have a look around and bring back memories of some happy times. The next room is our beautiful art gallery, the Jim Wayne Courtyard Gallery. You'll find lots of beautiful art on the wall here, lots of them made by local artists. The art gallery continues into this second room. We've stepped back in time here to the Victorian house. This used to be the kitchen. You can see the original tiles on the floor and where the fireplace used to be. If you continue out of our gallery, you'll arrive in this hallway of the Victorian house. This is now our spotlight gallery, where we've got some beautiful objects out of our collection to be able to have a really good close look at. Please don't touch anything though, they are very old and fragile. The next room you'll come to is our Victorian parlour. This is recreating what this house would have been like when it was a family home in the 1890s. This room's a little bit darker than some of our other rooms. That's to protect some of the old objects that you'll see in here. We've also got a talking portrait. This is Mr Mosley, a recreation of the man who used to live here in the 1890s. He does start talking suddenly, so he might make you jump. This is our drawing room. It's got some beautiful paintings to look at around the side. This would have been the place that the family would have shown off how wealthy they were to their friends. It's got lovely views over the park. This is one of our quiet spaces. So if you need a moment just to yourself when you're at the museum, come and talk to us at reception and we'll let you know which of our quiet spaces are available. It's a nice place just to have a quiet chill out for just a few minutes. It's also available to hire, so it's a lovely place if you want to have a meeting, training course or talk. And every uh, penny that is raised helps keep our museum open. If you use a hearing aid, we have a portable induction loop that you can take around the museum with you. We also do audio described tours if you have a visual impairment and we can offer British Sign Language translation for most of our tours and events. We've arrived at the last room on the ground floor. This is our Borough in 80 Objects Gallery, again still in the Victorian house. This has got objects from all over Newcastle Borough that tell the story of Newcastle from Roman times right up to the present day. Our museum is on two floors and you can get upstairs using the stairs or by using our lift. Just push the call button and the door automatically opens. It's only designed for one or two people, so please don't have whole families in at a time. It's very easy to use, just come inside and press the hold button to take yourself up to the first floor. 
As you go up the stairs, make sure you have a look at some of the gorgeous oil paintings that are on the wall. You'll also find one of our donation boxes. Our museum is free to enter, but please do give a donation if you can. Every little helps. Upstairs you'll find our gallery of childhood. It has a play kitchen, dress up box and lots of toys from the past. You'll see what children used to play with. Particularly popular is our teddy bears picnic. After our gallery of childhood you'll enter our Victorian street scene. It is a little bit dark, it's pretending that it's evening on Newcastle High Street. You'll see lots of shops of how things used to be in the past. Many of them are based in Newcastle and when they closed they give everything to the museum down our stairs or our lift and you'll find yourself near reception on the way out to the cafe, shop and toilets. It's a lovely place to look around and you can also pick up one of our children's trails from reception. They're just 50p, follow the clues around the museum and you get a prize if you find everything. If you want to come to the museum when it's a little bit quieter, our quiet times tend to be Saturday 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock or midweek in the last hour before we close at four till five o'clock. We're always happy to chat through what, how we can make your visit more accessible and we'll try and make adjustments where we can. Just call us 01782 619 705 or visit our website newcastle-staffs.gov.uk forward slash museum where you'll find all the information about how we can support you in your visit. So please do get in touch and we're looking forward to welcoming you soon.